You may think of your typical math teacher as a star student in high school, but Mrs. Garcia's story is slightly different. Unfortunately, the only thing I remember are terrible things that happened in my life when I was younger. I don't really have any happy memories. Um, my brother drowned when I was five years old, and then when I was nine, my mom packed us up in the middle of the night in a car, and we left and moved to Reading from Ole. And it was, um, she had a whole other life, a new boyfriend, new job, new everything. It was pretty crazy. As if Mrs. Garcia's family life wasn't already hard enough, school created more challenges for her. So I never really was a big fan of school. Um, After her parents' divorce at age 14, Garcia moved to Florida. The allure of sunny beaches made it easy for Garcia to skip school, and new friends with bad intentions landed her in a detention facility in New York for two weeks. Yes, we stole our parents' cars. We ended up stealing a truck and driving to New York from Florida. Um, and while we were there, we got caught by the police and then put into a detention center for two weeks until our parents can come and get us. That was pretty crazy. I was only like 13 or 14 then. So after that, my mom had pretty much given up and sent me to a detention, like military camp. I also did not do very well there because I'm not pretty, not good with authority. So I escaped and was on the run for a couple weeks. And then when they finally caught up with me, they sent me to live with my dad in Pennsylvania. So I started back at Ole again, eighth grade. I think I was 15, 14. I don't know, I was a little too old for eighth grade, I think at the time, but hated school, it was rough. I wanted to be a veterinarian until my guidance counselor had a meeting with me and she said that that was never gonna happen. I wasn't smart enough to ever be a vet. So I, figured, screw it, I was going to drop out of school, and as soon as I could drop out, I did. Garcia had aspirations of being a Hollywood star, but it just never worked out that way. The closest I ever came to Hollywood was when I went on the Jerry Springer show in 2001 um, for Shocking Secrets Revealed. I thought that was a chance to like get in, but um, Jerry Springer, it's pretty much use you and abuse you. They take you in the closet, they run you through your lines, get you all pumped up. When you're really pissed, they send you out there with shoes flying and it was not my best moment, but um, that was my Hollywood moment. <laughs> Eventually Garcia matured, got her GD at age 21 and realized she could be a positive influence on teenagers who struggle just like she once did. The reason we hired uh, Ms. Garcia was we, we felt she was the best candidate, but there, she, her, she had, her story is so good that we felt like she'd be able to reach uh, some of the students just with her story um, to inspire them that uh, you, you don't give up on education at an early age. Today, Mrs. Garcia resides in Warnersville, Pennsylvania with her husband and three children and is a math teacher at Connor Weiser High School a far cry from that high school dropout many years ago. Um, my advice would be you never know what the future holds. School, high school is free. So you can come here, you can take all your classes, get your high school diploma at no cost. If you drop out, it's gonna cost money if you decide to change your mind. Cause I mean, there's college graduates out there that can't find a job. So if you think you're gonna drop out of school and be successful, unless you're a drug dealer, which would only last a short period of time before you end up in jail, um, I wouldn't recommend that. So um, I know when I dropped out and I went to college, I had to pay for all the classes I didn't take in high school for free. So it cost me a couple thousand dollars to drop out. And um, you know, people have to go to work every day. There's gonna be parts of your life that are gonna suck. You just gotta suck it up and make the best of it.